What's up guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2019 Love Red from Brock Sellers. This is the second time we featured Brock Sellers in a Bottle Breakdown, so I'm excited to dive back in. But first, if you love wine as much as we do, or you just want to support the channel, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So to get things started, the 2019 Love Red is a blend of grapes harvested from the North Coast AVA in California, between Mendocino and Solano County's Green Valley. This blend is primarily Carignan, about 77%, which is responsible for most of the cranberry notes. And that Carignan was blended with about 15% Valdeque and 8% Syrah. And the wine was aged in neutral French oak and concrete tanks. Philosophically, Chris is a natural winemaker through and through. The rise of natural winemaking uh, has recently created space for him and his team to find a market for their products. Now, our motivation for working with Chris, beyond his ability to make delicious wines, is really about his commitment to sustainable farming. And many of Chris's wines, including this one, hold a certified organic designation. This Carignan is a combination of whole cluster and de-stemmed fruit from 70-year-old dry farm vines. Uh, the age of the vines and the farming technique each have their own significance. Uh, first, 70-year-old vines have had time to establish deep tap roots, and this really helps them draw nutrients deep from within the soil in the event of drought conditions. Now this is especially helpful when winemakers elect to dry farm or forego traditional irrigation of the vines, and this forces the vines to rely on rain and groundwater for their nutrients, uh, but produces very intense concentrated flavors in the process. Now dry farming also has the added benefit of being much more sustainable than formal irrigation, especially in California or truthfully any other area where the water table is being impacted by climate change. It's bright, juicy, delicious. Uh, you know, tart cranberry, cherry, and pulpy raspberry are all tied up with ribbons of sweet spice. Uh, the whole cluster fermentation also imparted a really nice tannic body and slightly earthy nose that integrates really nicely with all the red fruit. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.